Hey everybody, uh, this is Ridge Dog from the Voxel Box coming to you with a voxel toot on redstone displays made with pre-built memory cells, um, similar to the ones that you saw in the Woody Man's video. Speaking of the Woody Man, he is joining us. Um, say hi, Woody. Hello. And Demon, who is actually the inventor of this type of memory cell. Hi, Demon. Hello. And, uh... I'm Perzawap. There's Perzawap. As always. Perzawap will be manning the button for us today to make sure that uh, this sign is well and good lit up as we do this voxel toot to you today. So, Perzawap, go ahead and uh, show us what that looks like. Press that button. Broke. And I'll go up here and look down. And you can see how the redstone goes around the outside edges of the memory cells. Okay. So, let's make it daytime again. And, Demon, let's, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us what's involved with making these memory cells. Alright, well, it works with a, a string of delays around one wire down the center. And then each delay is spaced apart by one tick. And you have a repeater off every section of the delay that you want a pixel to appear on the screen. So if I was the signal, or if you were the signal right now, on, 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 off, on, off, off, off on, off, 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 on, <laughs> and so on. So every time the signal passes so by one of these guys, it carries into the middle wire, and then outputs here on the side. So cool! And w what would this spell up here? Uh, I just remove the side here, it'll show a nice imprint of the letters. So you can see you have, starting from the left, a T, and then an H, and the first three pixels of an E. So, and then the E curves around to the other side afterwards and goes on. So each level it's pretty easy to program. You just you strip off the side like that. You just form the shape of the letters directly onto it, and then undo, and the side will be back. So if you added some where there would be blocks there normally, it would change what's printed out. Let's put some of those on the real there side. There you have. <laughs> I'm going I'm to throw some random ones in here. After the T. Persa Wap, you ready to mount, uh, mount, um, <coughs> mind the button? Always, Steve. Always. Oh, okay. <laughs> go ahead and hit it. Those are the three pixels there at the edge of the T that we just actually placed. Now, the memory that is carried through here <coughs> comes up along the side where you've got this redstone wire. Um, it's gathered by the three different memory cells, if you see when it comes up this one and comes up the next one. The memory cells are connected by a block um, between the uh, the two foremost uh, bits there. And uh, when sent forward, they're actually carried along each wire for each row. Of course, each each plate here represents a row on the front of the sign. To the display, in a rather ingenious method, uh, Woody Man is going to actually explain that bit to us. Alright, is what happens is you have each layer of memory coming in, you know, each vertical, or each horizontal slice being a row in the letters. So as each pulse comes through, it feeds into this repeater here, which you'll see feeds into the block of uh, adminium here. Mm. Pop that out of the way. And you'll see it comes around and hits this block of obsidian, 
which then swings it around into this set of repeaters. And it does that all the way down the line, uh, so you can separate your inputs a little bit. Oh, that's the. Sorry, and keep them all tucked the away neatly line. behind the display. Now so you're. All of the different rows are actually back here. I, this, I guess this would be the bottom one. Two, three, yep. four, and here's the top. I'm going to put a block here. Let's put a torch on that block at the back and see if it carries to the front of the to display. Okay, cool. And so if you were to put one there real fast and break it, it would send the pulse similar to the memory bits, right? Awesome. Well, that's cool. The rest of this display is actually just uh, a little bit of wiring, um, a pulser, I'm sorry, a pulse delay, what is that thing called? Pulse generator. Pulse generator, um, which sends to the input here, which is split among the five platters um, and begins the memory cells lighting up along their merry way. It also has a, le a neat little uh, a piston included which will break if you MC edit this in. Uh, you can put a piston there or not. It's all voluntary, but if you were to flip a switch here and then press a button, that actually completes the circuit on the last one and uh, sends a signal back around to the back to go towards the front. To make this all a little bit easier to understand, we're actually going to be including a schematic of this quick little display here in the description of this video. So feel free to click on that link and follow uh, through the voxelbox.com page to download. And uh, if you have any input or if you make any displays yourself off of this model, feel free to send us a link and we'd be happy to, uh, to follow up as well. As always, uh, this is Rich Dog from the Voxel Box, and joining us with d -Bin and Woody Man. And first of all... See you later. <laughs> For today's <laughs> Voxel Toot.